Like, if you want to create a serious story, at least make it, you know, somewhat believable. If you try your very best to make a lighthearted story, I mean, then you can get away with a lot more silly things. But, like, if you're trying to create an immersive world where players are supposed to actually, you know, feel for the characters, if the story doesn't make any sense in any way, I can't. But there's a lot of really cool universes out there in books, man. You could create some really cool stuff. I think uh, Hogwarts Legacy is a pretty good example of that, to be honest. Like, despite all the drama... The Wizarding World is really cool. I think a lot of people... Uh, enjoy it, you know? What's this? Like a little teddy bear? Oh, bar right. It looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> StarCraft 2 story is also, uh, yeah, pretty average. It's one of those classic situations where, like, we need a bigger and better evil! And then we got an even bigger and better evil! But it turns out the biggest and baddest evil of them all was the guy that was in charge in the background! And then it turns out that guy also had a big bad guy controlling- Like, you get this- yeah, you get the power creep. You kind of need to plan it all in advance, I guess, right? But like, obviously, that's really difficult to do. So you know, I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily, you know, I don't know. It's easy to fall, fall in, and you know, fuck it up a little. But it's like we had a really cool story with the Lich King in World of Warcraft, and then after like 20 years of the Lich King. Suddenly there was supposed to be a guy called the Jailer who was controlling the Lich King all this time? It's like, come on, bro. <laughs> it makes, like, we've never heard of this guy. Apparently there's some, some hints here and there, but like... It just makes for such an uninteresting villain. But then again, they probably didn't anticipate World of Warcraft lasting this long anyways, right? Like, they clearly probably... Well, they, they clearly thought it was gonna die in like 2009 or so, and they were like, oh, it's a five year long game, and suddenly, uh, again, <laughs> the game uh, stuck around for a bit longer than that. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, I think they probably... If I were to make a guess, I think they probably assumed World of Warcraft would sort of end around the same time as the end of... The Lich King. So like, what? 2008 or so? That's probably what, like, roughly the original plan was. Because every game up to that point basically was like, it had like a five-year lifespan. Give or take. And then they just sort of kept it going and kept it going because obviously it was doing really well because it's a really sick game. But then you end up in some, uh, some weird spots sometimes, story-wise. So, I don't know. I actually, um... Yeah, it, it's easy to, I guess, keep making the story bigger. But I don't think that's necessarily always the best choice. Yeah, but Pokemon is relatively lighthearted, though, right? Like, that's about a guy going to different regions, catching different Pokemon, and trying to learn more. It's like more like small stories. That, that I don't get too bothered by, but when it's like supposed to be epic, and then even more epic, and then even more epic, and then, you know, at some point, it's just... a bit of a mess. Yeah, exactly. And then you think about it for a little bit longer and you realize, wait a second. If this Jailer guy is like a hundred times more powerful than the Lich King. How the fuck did we struggle against the Lich King? 
It makes no sense. But maybe World of Warcraft is not necessarily the best example though, because they've definitely tried their best in that game. The power of friendship. Um, okay. Got some bombs, got some coal. I'm gonna drop off my coal over here as well, okay. I've got all these floors, guys. What do I do with all these floors? Hey, buddy. Um, I guess I'll put down a trash chest. Yeah, this is the, I don't know what to do with it, chest. Don't really want to throw it away, but I also don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I put my emotions usually in the same chest too. What do I do with it? I don't know. Oh. Um, okay, let's see. I should still be bringing a Void Essence to the wizard guy. Isn't the, the Void Essence uh, one of these? Yeah. Okay. Wizard man. Where does the wizard man hang out at night? Actually, it's only 3 p.m. I was thinking about going to bed already. Smells really good here, guys. I don't know what Lorraine's cooking. But it smells really good. It does kind of smell like pizza a little bit, yeah, but there's no way we're eating pizza on a Monday. There's no way. Copium? No way. Hey, buddy. Whoa. You're hoping to find an apprentice? Do you like maple syrup? There you go, mate. Okay. You can't have pizza on a Monday? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. No, but Monday is right after the weekend. If I were to make a guess, for people that have pizza shops, their sales are way down on a Monday, okay? Everybody's trying to not be a fool degenerate on Mondays, I think. Some people, uh, I guess, will still eat pizza anyways, and that's fine. But I think most people are like, you know, the beginning of the new week, they're like, okay, this week is gonna be different. But then, like, when Wednesday rolls around, you're like, ah, is it though? Your local pizza is close to Mondays? Yeah. A shrimp cocktail. Hmm. Okay. I found these high protein pizzas that they sell in the supermarket, guys. They sell a couple of different ones. And they're like not even big pizzas, they're like, I don't know, just medium-sized pizzas, I guess, and they have about 55 grams of protein each for like 700 calories. Which I, I'm not 100% sold on yet. I tried two of them and they were pretty good actually. Like I actually kind of liked them. I expected them to be pretty terrible. Yeah, it's like 700, I think 750 calories for like 55 grams of protein. That's pretty sick. It's kind of bait, because every time now I, I see them, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good ratio. A 
I should stop doing that. Thin crust, thin crust, yeah. Bring it to your neighbor, Rainer. Yeah, yeah, we're neighbors. I mean, the entire country, of course, is... Basically, right next to one another. Okay, you know what, guys? We're actually making quite a bit of money here in the game. Twenty-three thousand. Very displeased today. Okay. Um. So what else do we do, guys? I'm not even entirely sure what else I should be doing here before uh, the next season. I am basically done. Well, I, I'm ready to make Iridium Sprinklers. I have everything I need for it. I've got gold bars, I've got Iridium bars, I just need battery packs, and I have nothing to do with those. Um... Game's done, Loco? Yeah, I think so too. No, we just have to wait until the new season is, uh, is around. I gotta wait for the next season, apparently, before I can, um... Before I can, uh, start making Iridium Sprinklers. So I guess we won't have those for another little while. I could honestly be upgrading my tools, but meh, not really worth. There are more legendary winter fish? Like what? I don't know how to get those. I should probably look that up. Why does milking sound like a toilet flushing? I got one legendary fish, yeah. I have one little pond over here. Um, I got one legendary fish. I put it in my chest. Let me see. I really quite like my farm, actually, right now. It's nice. Curious what, a C what it looks like at the beginning of the next season. Um, I have the... Didn't I put my legendary fish in here? I don't know. I had a legendary fish. Where did I put my legendary fish? Did I put it in the fridge? <laughs> I feel like I, made, I had a legendary fish, I swear. What is the fish I caught? Does anybody remember? I wanted to show off my legendary fish. <laughs> I swear I had a legendary fish. Did I sell it? No, I hope I didn't. Maybe it's in the valuable shit chest. Ah, there it is. The mutant carp. Uh, strange water of the sewer turned this carp into a monstrosity. I think that's a legendary fish, isn't it? Maybe it's not even a legendary fish. No, it is one of the five legendary fish. Okay, so there's five legendary fish. Builds a nest? I guess one for each season? Yeah, any season. This one is in winter. Builds a nest on the underside of glaciers. South end of Arrowhead Island? In the Cindersap Forest? Arrowhead Island? What the fuck is that? Keys Extended Family? Arrowhead Island. Go to the forest south of your house. Keep going south until you find the bridge. There's an island shaped like an arrowhead. Any weather? Okay, I'm gonna have a quick little peek then. We're gonna run all the way south. It is almost dinner time over here, though, guys, so I'm gonna head off shortly, but... 
Those fresh sprites are beautiful, Lefrinus. If I didn't know any better, I thought you were criticizing them. But of course not. You wouldn't do that. Now would you? Body shaming a fish? Yeah, man. Arrowhead Island. I guess we can look at the map. Maybe one of these kind of looks like an uh, arrowhead. This is like a little island, but I don't think that looks like it. The bridge on the left? Hmm. Thank you very much, Gabe. Thank you, Dark Server, for the 59. This island looks like an arrowhead? Does it? This little thing? This is the arrowhead island? Oh, the bigger one? Oh, I guess this kind of looks like an arrowhead. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, fair. <clears throat> oh, okay, sorry. I thought you meant I needed to be facing left. I will try and yeet it into the deep end of the pond. Can't make it, though. Legendary fish confirmed. Look at this guy. Absolute monster. Whoa, I did it. I did it. Easy catch. Oh, it's a chub. Okay. Uh, there's a little shiny over here. That's for the... Um, that's for the, um, the gold. Oh, God. That was almost too much. What is this? I mean, I spent a lot of money on this rod. Should be pretty good. Maybe I have to fish on the southern end of the island? I mean, it doesn't specify it on the wiki, unless I missed it. Maybe this is it? No. There is a little peak over here. I wonder some some deep water. Okay. I can reach that. This music is reminding you of Final Fantasy. Oh, this is different movement. Yo, what is this? This gotta be it. I gotta press my left mouse button more aggressively sometimes. That fixes... ...some of my problems. Oh, this thing is bait. This has gotta be it. Stay! 
Oh my god. What? No, that wasn't a... That was just a regular fish! I thought I was having epic gamer moments. I thought that's what epic gamer moments looked like right there. Oh, this is oh my oh my god, that's it. It's got a little crown. Yo, 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 what? What? How in the world would I be Hardcore fishing stream with logo. Yeah, man. Fishing simulator win. Thank you, Dotfix, for the 22 months. You need a rot with a tackle? Well, it just worn out. <laughs> uh, there's a little ad break coming up, by the way, for the non-subs in the channel. I'm heading off very soon. Yeah, I probably need to prepare food for this. Food of the sea? I had one of those. And then I, uh... What the fuck? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen right now. Where did I put my horse? Skill issue, man. I'm gonna need some, uh, some specialty preparations for that. There's no way. I think you Mr. Ozzy gifting a community sub to Cilio. Maybe at least I'll get a level? I don't know what the levels are. Um, yeah, my fishing is not level 10 yet. I don't know. Do you, th do you reckon I get a level for catching six fish? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta head off because it's been smelling like food here for 10 minutes. And otherwise, my food gets cold. Oh, I don't want to have cold food yet. In case you're unfamiliar, I stream most days. This week is a little bit awkward again because I'm casting the other half of the StarCraft tournament at the end of the week. But tomorrow is going to be a normal stream, and the same can be said for, um... <laughs> what the fuck? She just snuck off on me. Same can be said for Thursday. What is it? <laughs> Are you here watching the only huh? streamer of Twitch? Tired of all these ads? With Twitch Prime you can skip all that so use it now or pay for it you losers. Like the boom boo is it? Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Jump scared, IRL, man, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, thank you, War Ember. Thank you for the 41. Thank you also, Mr. Ozzy, gifting three community subs. Hell yeah. Are you here watching the only stream on Twitch? Tired of all these ads? With Twitch Prime, you can skip all of them and use now or pay for it, you losers. <laughs> Yo, Wargunner. Wargunner's going hard, man. He has no chill for known subs. No, it's not pizza. It's not pizza, Chad. It does taste really, or it does smell really nice. Oh, you know, one more thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, because it's Monday again. Um, I gotta go hang out at Penny's. Penny needs a diamond, Chet. That's her mom right over there. All her mom does is drink and drive the bus. I don't get that, Celio. What am I looking at? You keep posting this whenever I go to Penny's. What am I looking at? A shrimp? Oh, are you calling me a simp? Is that what you're doing? Oh. Oh, I see. That's Maru, not who we're looking for. Maru is the, um... Well, <clears throat> the backup. <laughs> On the 25th, we'll be having the Feast of the Winter Star. Right, right, right. There you go. Um... I suppose to be a gratitude for all your life. Okay. 
Cool story. Yeah, Maru has got insane marine splits. Would you like a prehistoric hand axe? I'll just put it over here. Yo, she doesn't sound very grateful. Still, still, no, still on a uh, small amount of hearts here. We haven't gotten... The final hearts are difficult, man. I'm looking for bug guts. At least that's what the... Cr okay. I have an idea for... I need 80 hardwood? What? 80 hardwood? That's a lot, isn't it? Dude, she just wants wood everywhere. She asks for regular wood, hardwood. Her husband is right there, doesn't care at all. Good for them. So there is a mod to marry Robin. That's kind of funny. No, she's building a bed. Concerned Ape 100% realizes. And he's done that on purpose, though. There's no way. Oh, here's my new weapon. That was my first kill with the new weapon. No, he definitely did that on purpose. Guaranteed. No, Robin can never get enough wood. To be fair, I did buy like 4,000 wood of hers. I should probably buy a couple more before the end of the season. doing overtime yeah I wanted to catch a legendary fish real quickly uh, didn't work out exactly the way I had intended um, yeah there's no way there's just no way I'm gonna be able to get that done right now it wasn't even close I think I'm just gonna fill up these extra areas with grass or something I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing here So I've got some maples. Ultimately, I guess I'll do fruit trees, but... I want to be putting this thing right over here. There we go. And then we'll put flowers there on either side. Um, turns raw wool into cloth. It just increases the bite rate. I don't think that's what I should have. Oh, I should maybe get some of these rings. Um, anyways, let me get my maple trees out. Where's my maple trees? Or not the maple trees, sorry. The, uh... Mahogany. Oh shit, I've only got one mahogany one? Okay, well in that case, I guess I'll just leave it as it is. Okay. I wanted to set an up uh, another round of trees in this area. Do you think I've put down too much of this cobblestone path? How much hardwood do I have, by the way? I hope I get it back. Like, she wants to have hardwood, but like, does she give it back? I guess that always is the question. I've got exactly 80. That's pretty good. She's gonna take it? 
Bro, she better gives me something really good in return. 80 hardwood? That's all the hardwood I have. Yeah, of course I want to use it again. I feel like you and me are having very different conversations right now, Chad. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Put that right over there. Oh, shit. I gotta gather them as well. It doesn't just count if I use my already, uh, okay. Yeah, I need to cut the wood right now. I see. Okay, um, throw that in there. Throw that in there. I need to have a diamond here to give to Penny. Yeah, she doesn't like old hardwood. She needs fresh. Gotcha. That's good to know. Okay. She knows what she wants, Chad. That's important. Hey, I did get the fishing level. Nice. New crafting recipe? Okay. I feel like the last five times I've played this game, we've been stuck in the winter. I don't want to be stuck in the winter anymore, guys. I'm very done with the winter. A little extra luck. I think I might just want to finish up a little bit more mining in the Skull Cave and then... We'll go from there. I have, um... Decorated my, my farm quite nicely. We are well prepared for the next season. I sadly don't have my uh, Giga... Um, iridium, uh, whatever they're called, sprinklers yet, but we're, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I'm done with winter, the season, in the video game, and then also the streamer, of course. Of course. There hasn't been storms. No, there haven't been any storms. Apparently, there aren't going to be any storms either in the winter. Which is a bit funny, because I feel like there's usually storms in the winter where I'm from, but... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we're almost done with this season. I feel like this, this is kind of where the game becomes a bit of a drag. Like, a little bit of a drag because everything's just so much slower. Ah, this is music from the game, yes. It reminds you of Blade Runner. Fair enough. No, this is, uh... Gamer music right here. Um, let's go over here for a moment. Got another diamond. That's good. Um, there we go. Gotta put these things in here. Yeah, I accidentally planned out the game, because I have played it in the past, right? I've accidentally planned things out more efficiently than you're expected to do, which kind of leaves me with very little to do now. Which is kind of ironic. Maybe that's not too strange, though. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and warp on over to the cave. In the desert. Mm. To be fair though, a second playthrough of a game like this is always going to be a little bit worse than the first one, I think, because the exploration is just not really there anymore, right? You've basically already, um... Like, I think the very first time I played this game, years and years ago, I basically spent the entire first year just wandering around exploring. At least that's what it feels like. I got very little useful things done. Um, so what we're trying to get done here is get Iridium. Iridium becomes more and more apparent the lower you go into the mine. Yeah, it becomes efficiency simulator at some point. But I mean, to be fair, that's fine though. Hey, a battery pack. I didn't realize you could get those. I mean, there's still more to do. But at this rate, I'll probably grow tired of the game in another couple of seasons. I don't know exactly, we'll see. My main goals are completing the community center. We of course have got to get married. We need to upgrade our house and all that. I have not unlocked the new island, no. I don't know how to unlock it. So maybe that is something I still need to figure out, but... I have, uh, I've definitely refined my farm layout a lot more, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to get to the new island. Do you have kids without being married in this game? Or is it like real life? That's illegal. <laughs> and impossible, too. I don't like this. Yoba forbids it. Do you get tax benefits in this game when you get married? The game does let you apparently, yeah, you can turn your kids into doves apparently. That's pretty wild, man. IRS is gonna come for me eventually. The American one? Oh no. What about the Belusting Deans? Do you think the Belusting Deans is gonna come too? <laughs> they're cool? Yeah, they're Dutch. They don't know anything. The Belusting Deans always like sending me meal, uh, emails and, and letters and all that, guys. They're like, hey, do you know you have to give us money soon? I'm like, yes, I'm well aware, thank you. And they're like, hey, by the way, reminder, you need to give us money soon. I was like, yes, thank you. They're like, hey, by the way, uh, this upcoming year, this new calendar year, you're gonna have to give us money on these dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're kind of stalking too, man. When you move, right away, they sent you a letter to your new address as well. You're like, what? How did, ooh. I already got my diamond uh, galaxy sword over. But anyways, they, they managed to find you, man. It's impressive. I got a, another one. Yeah, I found another one. <laughs> Apparently, that's a very rare drop. Maybe you guys just have to play the game better, okay? Maybe it's not that rare of a drop. Maybe you just didn't, you know, play the game as good as I did.
Toxic? Oh, okay. I forgot I had bombs. Bomb bomb! What's the tax rate in the Netherlands? Um, it depends. As with everywhere. Income tax goes north of about 50%. Sales tax is 21. Those are the main two taxations you have as a... Uh... Self-employed person in the Netherlands. But it very much so depends, like it's obviously in brackets, right? And there's a lot of deductible. And you obviously only pay... Taxes over profits, not so much over uh, revenue. Yeah, yeah. So I think. Oh. There's a couple of different brackets. Yeah. Only, only people that make way too much money will pay 50% in taxes. So the Netherlands does this thing where if you're really wealthy, you actually have to pay money, more money percentage-wise, rather than less money, which is just an insane concept. But like, if you earn more money, you have to pay more money. It's, it's, it's a mental idea. Not everybody though, unless you get to a certain level, um, then, then suddenly, you make a billion dollars, or euro, no longer an issue. Nah, no, no, no. It's writing in Leia's handwriting, or it's written rather. My idea of a perfect dinner would be salad, goat cheese, truffle, and wine? Bro, what the fuck? We just found a letter like that? Apparently these guys can drop me some really cool stuff. I haven't really hung out with them all too much, but... They don't really seem to deal that much damage, to be honest. Dude, there are so many! Oh my god! Someone said you can get an egg. I wanna... I, I'm done with my prehistoric vertebrae, okay? Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point, actually, man. If Leia's handwritten note is right over here in this... Ooh, dinosaur egg. Nice. Is right over here in this cave. Does that mean... Does she like skill? It's, uh, skills? It's, I don't know. How does it work? <laughs> yeah! Dude, that was so funny, man. That was this guy in the chat. I haven't seen him anymore. I don't even remember his nickname. I would recognize it if I saw it, but I had to make fun of him for a while there because... When first the, uh, the stimmies came in, right? In the States, during COVID. There was a guy in the chat who was bragging about making too much money to be eligible for a stimmy. Which is so fucking funny, but also such a douchebag move. It's like, oh yeah, you peasants, you guys got a stimmy, but sadly, for someone of my level. <laughs> I will not be eligible. <laughs> Oh, only for the poor people. A way down has appeared. Nice. <laughs> Truly based. So good. No, it wasn't even a humble break. Yeah, no, I, I was just jealous. Very strange flicks. <laughs> Pretty funny though.
The real wealthy people, they hide their wealth for sure, man. Dude, I was actually on that subject. I was watching a video yesterday. I know it's a bit nerdy, okay? But I like watching these videos from uh, Hodinki, who make a lot of interesting watch content. Rachel. And there's this, this video right over here called, I don't know, Talking Watches with Jean Arnaud. Um... Wasn't entirely sure who this guy was, but he's got a really cool watch collection. And at some point he brings out these really expensive watches. I'm like, holy crap, I don't know. Like, what does he do? Like, what is what is going on? Turns out, and he's got a very understated, like the way he talks, it's all very understated and pretty stealthy, I guess. Uh, but this guy is apparently the son of Bernard Arnault, who's got a net worth of $236 billion estimated right now. Who's apparently... Uh, the owner of Louis Vuitton, Dior, and a bunch of other brands. <laughs> I was like, okay, shit. That explains how this guy has, uh, you know, he's pretty young. That explains where uh, <laughs> it comes from. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure with the real wealthy people, you wouldn't know. You you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell. They definitely would not go on the internet and flex that they weren't eligible for a stimmy. That is, that is for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, some people are just born like that, man. And that's okay. <sighs> Director of watches at Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, the guy's like 25. How the fuck did he pull that off? That's pretty pretty mental, but... I was thinking, actually, the first thing I thought was Louis Vuitton is into watches? I had no idea. But I guess his, his dad was like, Ah, <laughs> we gotta get you, you know, in the business anyways. This is a branch we don't focus on. So, you know, may, may as well get somebody started. No, 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 his dad is the owner of the company. Oh, shit. I mean, to be fair, though, like, uh... If I owned a brand like that, I would think it's pretty sick, too, if my kids were uh, to work in the same company that I started. Uh, I don't really... Uh, there is a little bit of... Uh, I don't think I want to fight all this. No. Uh. Yeah, man. Some people are born with a higher net worth you can, you know, that you will ever be able to reasonably acquire. That is how it is. So Gunther wants to have my uh, dinosaur egg, guys. I don't know what to do with it, but I don't think I'm going to give it to Gunther. Dude, that would be so sick. If I ever have kids, and for some reason, I'm still making content, and like, you know, whenever they start work, and they could somehow, some way, work at Loco Television, that sounds fucking cool, dude. I don't really see... <laughs> I can't really imagine that, but that would be really sick. We get Loco. Yeah, we can get like a little minivan that says like Loco and Sons on the side. We get a streaming dynasty. <laughs> Damn, dude. I've never even really thought about this. Yeah. I have to, you know, teach them in the art of sellout. We'll have to go over all the, uh, the details. Yeah, my great-grandchildren might even be able to play StarCraft 3 one day. Although that could be a little... Uh, I don't know. That might be overly ambitious. Will Smith tried that? It didn't work out? What do you mean? Will Smith's kids are very successful. <laughs> maybe not... Maybe not Will Smith levels of successful. But at least they haven't slapped anybody on live television. <laughs> Got him. Um, no, but yeah. No, they seem to be doing all right. Not as actors? Nah, fair enough. I 
haven't heard anything about Will Smith in a long time. Is his career actually over after this whole fucking... Like, it, you know, it was pretty stupid. It was pretty bad, but like... You know... Is it just... It Was that GG? I haven't really thought about that. That's actually kind of sad if it is GG. Hmm... Yeah, I guess it was already kind of, uh... He was already kind of floating his command center to the corner of the map before it was GG, I guess. Yeah, sure. Hey, more iridium ore. Very nice. A mega bomb. Okay. That was pretty big. Oh! Oh my god. I almost died. I thought I was dead there. That would have really sucked. I probably would have lost both my iridium thing. Uh, or sorry, both my... Prismatic shard as well as the battery pack and then the dino egg. That would have been my luck. I scrolled by on accident the thing that I was trying to select. A rabbit's foot. Oh, I need one of those for the community center, no? Yeah, I definitely do. 